You are ready for this? I'm the 37th president, the name is Richard Nixon. In 1969, I revived the Philly plan. Uh -huh. I'm the main man who established racial quotas, using my power to promote diversity, eliminating causes of adversity. I increased funding for civil rights groups, wielding mighty power, I commanded the formation of the MBE. That was all me. Strengthening our nation through a new generation of blacks and corporations. If you're still not convinced, take a look at my appointments. 86 blacks working for me, four Puerto Rican, and add eight Greeks. Here we go. My name is Clarence Mitchell at the NAACP. Working in Washington, that's right, I'm a fish. Listen, Mr. Nixon, you don't fool me. Uh -uh. I see right through your plan, it's a simple contradiction. Causing dissent in the liberal opposition. Use a Philly plan to create major friction between black people and middle class workers. Affirmative action, it's a diplomatic ploy to foster cohesion with right wing leaders. Reconsider your decisions and your clandestine mission. Everything will dismantle with the Watergate scandal. Woo! That stings. 1979, it's your boy Justice Brennan Handing down decisions in the court of law Kaiser V. Weber in Louisiana Dealing with promotion in the steel plant, y'all Overturned the district court, overturned the circuit court We've gathered all the evidence and I declare That these race-based policies are legit In fact, they match the spirit of Title VII The name is Carl Cohen, the philosopher king With the crack of your gavel, just to start to unravel You claim you're a judge, but let me lay down the law Your senseless decision lacks reason and vision Duty or blunder, whether now must suffer After clear explanation, Congress plainly intended To prevent discrimination with Title Seven. Here we go! 1995, Justice Ginsburg on the mic in Adel Ram v. Payne, we examine repercussions of racial preferences in the field of construction. It's clearly evident that the lingering effects of societal injustice marginalize minority people. Using strict scrutiny is obviously fatal. The majority opinion marks a prominent betrayal against those unable to defeat discrimination. Uh. Ready for this? The O is for O'Connor, Justice G, you dishonor. The mighty court of law, let's expose your logic's flaw. The use of racial preferences is rarely ever fair. For the future, I declare that in matters using race, the court takes special care. To pass strict scrutiny, the policy's gotta be compelling, necessary, and narrowly tailored. Uh. Put that in your pipe and smoke it.